In this video, we will be demonstrating the use of the Genesis Nasal Laryngeal Mask Airway. This kit contains a flexible reinforced laryngeal mask airway with a removable 15mm ISO connector, a flexible reinforced airway tubing having a fixed 15mm ISO connector, and a connector to mate to an introducer with the introducer. We begin with the patient being ventilated with a laryngeal mask which is being placed orally. The flexible reinforced airway tubing is connected to the introducer with a twisting motion. Using the most patent nostril, the atraumatic introducer is advanced into the nasopharynx. Once visible within the oropharynx, the introducer is then retrieved with McGill's forceps, applying very gentle traction, whilst continuing to advance the airway tubing through the nose. At this point, we are then able to remove the introducer with a gentle twist. The anesthetic circuit is then also removed from the LMA, taking with it the 15mm connector, and the LMA tubing is joined to the airway tubing as shown. The patient can then again be ventilated, and the airway tubing is gently fed back into the mouth as it is retracted through the nose until the connection is present outside the nose. The tubing is disconnected and the 15mm connector from the LMA is replaced onto what is now the nasal laryngeal mask airway. The patient can once again be ventilated. There we have the modified retrograde nasal laryngeal mask airway intubation technique with minimal interruption to ventilation. We are often asked during presentations how to quickly remove the nasal LMA. This is a simple and quick procedure. Remove the 15mm ISO connector from the proximal LMA airway tube. Using a laryngoscope to visualise the LMA tubing in the oropharynx and using fingers or McGill's forceps, grasp the tubing and pull it out of the mouth. This will deliver the LMA mask from the laryngopharynx and at the same time, the LMA tubing will be pulled through the nasopharynx. To reverse the procedure, the 15mm connector is removed and the extension tubing is reconnected to the LMA tubing with a twisting motion. The LMA tubing is grasped through the mouth with McGill's forceps and with a pushing rather than a pulling motion, the tubing is retracted through the mouth. The two tubes are disconnected by twisting and the anesthetic circuit is reconnected.